This is a very impromptu video and I've put, oh, see if I can get emotional already. <clears throat> hey, beautiful mama. Welcome to Mom for Every Season, where I like to help moms live their most heart-centered and extraordinary motherhood and life. This video is just gonna be a little bit different than my normal videos. If you are brand new, my name is Taryn. But today I just kind of wanted to just share more of a chit chat video, just, you know, share what's on my heart, what I've been kind of struggling with lately. Um, maybe because someone else out there is in the same type of boat as me. And I think normally I put a lot of pressure on myself in motherhood and even in YouTube and creating content. And I love being able to you know, provide videos that add value and, you know, like I like to offer tips how I've gotten through certain things. But at the same time, I also want to be able to be transparent and show you that it's not always, you know, it's not, I love to share positivity and mindset stuff, but sometimes it's okay to be struggling in motherhood or struggling in life in general. Um, and that's kind of where I've been at lately. And hopefully someone else can relate. Um, and I feel like there's so much power in being able to relate with other mothers, which is another reason why it's so important to connect with other moms. So again, if you are having a hard time in motherhood, maybe comment down below because the more, you know, the more that we see that it's okay to struggle, I think just the more, obviously more power there is in that. Because again, in social media, there's so much... We're just comparing our lives to someone's social media reel, which of course is filtered and it's not like that. That's not life. There are ups and downs. And again, like even like my channel's name, like I'm mom for every season, there are seasons of motherhood. And I definitely have been kind of in a lower season right now and struggling a little bit. I'm gonna start crying. Um, there's definitely, I guess, I could pick up, pinpoint a few things that I think have been contributing to why I'm like feeling a little bit of struggle, um, in motherhood and like life and YouTube in general. Like, I think, yeah, partially I'm putting so much pressure on myself to, I mean, obviously be a good mom. And, and then of course you get into a vicious, vicious cycle of like, you put the pressure on yourself and then if you don't meet those expectations, on yourself you kind of beat yourself up or you feel mom guilt and I think we always like come back and think well I'm not being as good of a mom as I thought I would be or I want to do better and I'm not really sure where I'm going with this video <laughs> just trying to be transparent with you guys and if you are struggling it's okay to be more so in the trenches of motherhood or life it's okay to I guess not be okay um, and we definitely need both parts. Like if we didn't have the, you know, low points, we wouldn't know how good the really high points would feel. And there's so many lessons in the struggle that you just don't get in the high points. So I know there's reasoning and clarity around how I've been feeling and like the struggle. Um, I know there's lessons there. And then I feel like, yeah, it's, you know, summer, and just being more, we've had kind of crappy weather over the summer, so it's been a little bit, I haven't been able to go outside as much. And then my kids have been like non-stop fighting and like my seven year old has been like talking back, which is, I mean, I know not to take personally as a mom, but it's like so hard not to, I think I come back to like, I get in this fear of, you know, she's talking back now at seven. What is she gonna be like when she's a teenager? Or like, I know it's natural for kids to push boundaries and I want that to a certain extent, but I just have a fear that my kids are gonna be unkind, if that makes sense. Which is just me projecting my own fears on my child. And then that's kind of when I get in those moments where I'm like either getting snappy or losing patience because I'm projecting my fears or you know my either my past or my future fears onto my children which is not fair to them at all and, and then even on like 
YouTube. I've put a ton of pressure on myself, you know, to be engaging and to be, you know, add value to you guys um, and be able to help you. I don't want to get lost in that where like I lose kind of my authenticity. I can't say that because it sounds like horrible. Or like I don't want to pretend I'm someone I'm not. And I, again, in social media, it's so hard not to, you want to portray this like perfect outlook, perfect, you know, house, perfect world, perfect life. And like, that's so not the case. I mean, I've been sitting here trying to like, oh, well, what content can I provide? Like what, you know, tips can I provide? Even like, if you have been following me on Instagram, I haven't posted there just because like, I can't deal with one more thing on my plate. Okay, get yourself together, Taryn. And I've been pretty consistent with YouTube and my self-care um, and trying to be a good mom. I think if I haven't really been posted on Instagram, but then it like f feeds into my ego with the fact that I'm like, well, I'm failing at that. I'm not really failing, I know that. Are we ever doing enough? kind of thing. We went away at the beginning of July and then came back and I just haven't quite fit into a routine over the summer and I've also let old habits kind of come back and I was starting to stay up late again so then I'd have to sleep in so I'd get restful sleep and I would I would miss my morning routine and like whoa what a difference it has made because i've been you know in a you know a lower energy mood i've been like kind of grumpy or impatient with my children and then mom guilt shows up and all of these things just because i'm slipping back into old habits and then the whole slipping back into old habits kind of puts a damper on your confidence too and i'm just i know i'm not completely showing up for myself anyway i feel like i'm rambling in this video this is why chit chat ones are a little bit harder because they're a little bit more vulnerable vulnerable i can't even talk but yeah anyway i would love to know what your biggest struggle is as a mom well, i'm definitely feeling more isolated in motherhood this time around and I think it really just contributes to the fact that I we moved to a different town I haven't really met like a ton of mom groups I guess like I'm part of like a game night but I need to find some things to do during the day even just with the kids not necessarily by myself but to get out of the house and I get into again I get into the cycle where I'm like I don't want to go out because it's such a hassle it's like stressful to get them all ready and get them out the door for them to like fight and you know misbehave in public and then but then if I don't go out it obviously contributes to my mental health and yeah so definitely feeling isolated in motherhood right now which is another part of my struggles right now and saying right now a lot part of me has been feeling a little bit needing a break from YouTube as well. So I'm not sure if I'll post another video next week, we'll see. I may take another break. I mean, I put pressure on myself that if I don't post, I guess I haven't really taken a break probably since November of last year. I've pretty consistently posted at least once a week since then. And I mean, I think it's okay to take breaks, but I gotta like try and make that shift in my mind <laughs> that People obviously are gonna understand if you need to take a break from YouTube or break from Instagram, like, or they won't even notice, which is fine too. So I'm not sure if there'll be another video next week, we'll see. If not, I may just take a break and just kind of put some extra care into my self-care, myself, my family. If you had to give tips to a mom, what would you suggest if they're struggling? If you resonated or enjoyed this video at all, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And that's it for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now, mamas. I will catch you on the next video. Bye.